What's up everybody, Silver here with another Halo 5 Guardians Achievement Guide. This time we're doing the Tortoise, which is to complete a mission in Score Attack with at least 500,000 points. And in doing this, we'll also get two other achievements. We're going to do Drop a Quarter, which is to complete a mission in Score Attack with at least 10,000 points. And on our way to 500,000 points, we'll also get up for a challenge, which is reach 50,000 points in Score Attack with a Skull Multiplier of times 2 or higher on. So we're going to want to add a Skull to not only get at least 500,000 points in a mission for the Tortoise, but also to satisfy the requirements to get the Up for a Challenge achievement, which is to get 50,000 points, but make sure you have a Skull on that has a times 2 multiplier or higher. So to do that, we're going to add on the Skull's Catch, Tough Luck, and Thunderstorm, and we're going to do this on Normal, and we're going to go onto the mission Enemy Lines, which you can see I have already started here, and you want to make sure you have Scoring on, which you can see I have. You see all the medals popping up and the score in the bottom right and also the time, and up here in the mission you could get a carbine. I was trying to pick up the carbine, I wasn't trying to scan this intel, so it's kind of tough to do that. You have to be in a pretty specific position to not scan the intel first, which is kind of annoying. But we just want that carbine, we're going to run over here now and take out some jackals and an elite or two and press on. So just go through this level as you would normally, kill all the enemies you can, and you want to try to get as many multi-kills and sprees as you can as well, because those give you additional points. So try to get as many double kills, triple kills, all the way up to killionaire if you can. That would probably be pretty tough though, but if you can, that's great, go for that. I won't be doing that in this mission. And same thing with sprees, just get as many as you can. It's doubly good to have sprees because sprees give you more points, and obviously if you're getting sprees, it means you're not dying. And dying actually takes away points from your score, so try not to die. Go on a deathless run if you can. This is on normal, and you could get the 500,000 required on normal with these three skulls on, as you'll see here. But you could go for a higher score even by adding more skulls or by going on a higher difficulty. So you could do it on heroic or legendary to boost your score even more. When I first got the achievement for myself, I had about 1.6 million points, and I was doing it on legendary with a few skulls on I believe. So that's always an option if you are more comfortable uh, in the higher difficulty levels, but if you're not, then you could always still do it on normal with these three skulls on. Uh, these three skulls have a multiplier of 1.5, um, except for Catch. Catch has the two times multiplier, which is what we're looking for for the Up for a Challenge achievement. So basically, there's not a lot of trickery involved in this. It's just, uh, you know, make sure you have a big enough multiplier. The overall multiplier for this is a five times multiplier with all those skulls and being on normal difficulty. And it displays your multiplier in the pregame lobby so you can check and kind of mix and match a little bit to see what difficulty you want to set it on and what uh, skulls you want to activate. So, I'm just rolling through this level here. As usual, uh, we get to the ghost part here. Grab one of these. There's a bunch lying around. Your team will hop in them as well, most likely, and follow you along. And we're just going to pretty much run around here and just kill these people from afar. Uh, we'll probably splatter this elite up here. Remember that catch is on uh, if you choose to activate it, which I recommend. So you don't want to just be stationary and shooting at these guys because the elite could easily stick you if you're just kind of hovering around there and uh, not moving, obviously. A moving target is a lot easier to stick. So try to move around as much as you can. Uh, don't overdo it. You don't got to go crazy. Just, you know, don't stay in one spot uh, for too long because they will stick you if uh, they're within range. So here we go. This is a ghost. Obviously, you know what those are, and I didn't have to point that out. Blow that up. Uh, they're worth a good amount of points. Vehicles uh, give you more points, obviously. The bigger and the badder the enemy, the more points you get. So we're going to go over here. Get out of my way. Uh, we're going to splatter that guy. You don't have to. I just I didn't even know he was there, actually, but he popped around the corner, and here I was driving my vehicle. A hit and run. I don't care. I'm not stopping. And we're going to go over here, and you could actually get your ghost up through here, and makes the next section a little bit easier. I spend a good amount of time trying to get up here, which you'll see my time increase shortly, because I'm not going to show you this entire uh, struggle fest up here, because I normally could get up here very easily, but it just wasn't happening for whatever reason this playthrough. So here we go. So I skipped ahead to me going on foot to the next section, and as you could see, right before the, uh, the video faded to this part, I actually accidentally killed one of my Spartan buddies, and I lost points there. So don't kill any uh, allies of yours, because you do lose points for that as well. No team killing, for God's sake. Uh, you do lose points, so don't do it. And we're just going to go through here on foot and kill as many people as we can. So we're going to kill that guy. And I said earlier that you got to watch out for elites sticking you, um, but that's kind of dumb because grunts could stick you too. So watch out for them as well. Jackals won't do that though, so you're fairly safe with them. Though they do have guns, so watch out for that. So you just want to slowly and surely make your way through here. There's a lot of different levels, as you can see. There's kind of a top area, there's this middle area I'm in, and there's even an area underneath this. So there's a lot of layers that you got to kind of go through and clear everybody out if you plan on killing everybody. 
And where did that elite go? He's over there. Um, you could use the noob combo, which I'm clearly not doing in this playthrough. It's on normal, so I figure I don't really need to use all the tactics that you would in a, you know, a legendary run. Uh, if you don't know what the noob combo is, it's basically a plasma pistol and then a headshot weapon as well. So you overcharge your plasma pistol and it collapses the entire shield of the enemy, uh, most likely an elite you would use it on because um, they have the full body shielding. And then you would switch to your uh, precision weapon and then just headshot them once for the kill. So that's something that's very handy in uh, games where you're playing on a higher difficulty. So I skipped ahead a little bit here and this is just the section right below the wraith, right below the, uh, the doorway that you have to go through. And there's the door shield up above here, and you can actually bust through this wall that you can see behind the elite that I'm shooting right here. That is a weak point where you could kind of Spartan charge through. And this guy actually has a plasma caster, which I'm going to grab. Uh, you don't need it necessarily, but I'm going to use it to destroy the wraith. The wraith has a lot of points associated with it, so I'm going to grab that. And I'm going to use this plasma caster to blow him up. If you don't find the plasma caster, you could always just, uh, you know, run up and board him and stick him. Or you could uh, do a lot of other things to take out the Wraith, but the best way is with this somewhat heavy weapon, Plasma Caster. If I didn't find this, I was just going to clear out all the enemies around him and then just go up to him safely and board him. And uh, either beat him to death if I didn't have any nades, or I would just stick a nade in there and then he would blow up. So this is probably a little bit slower of a way. Um, hopefully I'm going to take out some of the enemies nearby the Wraith, along with these uh, secondary explosions, while I'm taking out this Wraith. So, And obviously, if we weren't going for points, this is an area where you just, you know, leave. I'm just turning back to go through this door shield to take out this Wraith because he's worth a lot of points. So you could use this uh, strategy to kind of speedrun a little bit, too. You just go through that uh, door I busted open and just totally skip this little section. But we want the points, so we're going to get them. There we go. Wraith destroyed, that was a good amount of points. And you can just clean up these guys if you want, and we'll just move on. Nice cod piece, bro. What a crappy way to go. He probably actually didn't feel much since it just exploded and probably killed him instantly. Though the actual weapon sticking to him probably wasn't that pleasant. And oh, there's a guy in a shade over here, so we'll take him out. And is he gonna, yep, there he goes. All right. So I think all the remaining Covenant are dead. Oh no, there's a, there's a Jackal with a sniper. He's shooting me and I'm just gonna run away. I don't need to deal with that crap. I already got enough points over there. So we're just going to move on to the next section. And I skipped ahead to this point. You scan a thing, and then a door opens, and you come upon this section. So we're going to try to kill these uh, Promethean Knights if you can. Sometimes you can't catch them, but I got that one. And then that other one, I don't know where he went. So we only got one out of two, but that's fine. We're not really banking on them to make or break our run here. And at this point, we get in a Phaeton, and we're going to spend a lot of time just killing all these turrets and banshees. The banshees are worth a lot of points. And you want to just take out all the enemies on the turrets and just on the Kraken itself before you land. Because obviously, every enemy you kill gets you more and more points. So it's fairly easy to dodge all these plasma blasts. They're not really shooting me right now, but they will be eventually. There we go. They're starting to shoot at me. So it's fairly easy if you just stay away from the Kraken to just kind of strafe back and forth and then they won't be able to shoot you that much and you can kind of take them out from afar especially with the secondary uh, gun on the Phaeton you can see it locks on to targets that are airborne and it also locks on to the turrets as well that are on the Kraken itself so you could use that gun and it's very effective you can see I'm taking them out fairly quickly here and it's easier than kind of leading the target with the primary gun, which is not a chain gun, but it's kind of reminiscent of the human chain gun on a Warthog or something. Or uh, maybe the Ghost is a better uh, comparison. But anyway, here we go. We're just going to take out all these guys slowly and surely, and I'm going to skip ahead because this is just a long period of time of me just firing on these guys from far away. And then once all the turrets are clear, just get in closer and you could actually kill all of the infantry on the Kraken as well. So now we've skipped ahead, we cleared out most of the enemies on the Kraken, we've landed on top of it, and we're just going to run down into the middle and blow it up. So here we go. You want to have a plasma grenade, because I found those kill this thing in one stick. So you want one of those to just, you know, shorten your time spent down there. And we're going to get some carbine ammo here, which is nice. I wasn't expecting that, but I'll take it. We're just going to run down to the center. And we're going to ignore most of the people. You could kill them if you want to, if you need more points still. Obviously, I need a little bit more. Or do I? I can't tell. Um, my screen is very small that I commentate on after the fact. But you can see here, that one stick to the core. You want to try to stick the glowy plasma part. You don't want to stick the uh, part that's kind of rotating around it. And I'm just going to run out of here. You can see there's a bunch of different elites that are still in the area. I'm just going to run past them, run right to these banshees, and this door will open up, and you can just fly away to safety. 
and I'm trying to look for the area where the next section is so you'll find it it's noticeable you can see it's on the other side of the crack and it is this big eye forerunner looking structure right there there it is so you just fly towards it and it actually disappears and lets you in so it kind of dissolves away from the center there it is opening it up we're gonna fly right onto this platform and I'm gonna skip ahead because it's just us waiting here for the Kraken to fall over and then our teammates to come join up on us. So we've skipped ahead. We're going to run into the door that is now open. And you can see I'm scanning. I'm using my, uh, I forget what it's called, but the scan that Locke uses to kind of scan the whole room and see what points of interest there are. And the point of interest is right in the back here. We're just going to punch this piece of technology because we're just tired of all the crap that we have to deal with. And the main reason we do that, the actual reason, is because... These composers uh, that we're looking for, we need one composer for this mission, that's the objective. And we actually break something because the job of the composers is to maintain and fix things. So we figure if we break something, that we'll send a composer running. And then we capture it and we have to fight our way out of this room. This is the final room and a bunch of Prometheans will be sent and warped into this section to uh, kind of halt our progress. But we're not going to let that stop us. Kill the Watchers because they are the most annoying enemy ever. They fly around. Oh, let's kill this guy first, actually. Uh, you don't want to have these guys behind you, so I don't know why I let them get behind me there. But anyway, this is a hefty weapon. Very useful for killing soldiers and pretty much anything. It does make you slower, though, as you can see. And we're... What? Stop shielding that guy. I'm going to kill you next, Watcher. All right. There we go. And I'm out of ammo almost. I'm just going to burst back here because I'm almost dead. Nice. I got a uh, kill trocity there. Not bad. And you can see I'm definitely over the 500,000 at this point. And we're just going to keep killing these last remaining knights. And the pulse grenades are actually very devastating to knights and soldiers alike. Pretty much any uh, enemy that is Promethean, it pretty much destroys very quickly. So use those to your advantage. And on normal, there's not that many reinforcements. There'd be more waves of those guys if you were on a higher difficulty. But not on normal. And that is it for this one. We go out onto the platform. Got the 500,000. I already got the achievement, so they won't unlock here on this screen. But rest assured, they would have if I had not already gotten them. But that is it for this one, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Click like and subscribe. Leave a comment. Check out our new Halo podcast called Halo Conversationalist, which dives into the lore in all the books and games and everything. You can find the episodes either on YouTube, on this channel, or you could subscribe to us on iTunes, and we're also working on getting on different platforms for you guys, so Android and Windows Phone users can give us a listen as well. We just recorded the second episode last night, so that will be dropping soon. And you can also follow me on Twitter at Halo Completion and on Twitch at SilverScorpion4. And I'll see you guys later for more Halo achievements.